Hello everyone, it's AJ Critter Crafts. I'm sorry about the really bad lighting. Um, I decided to film this at night for some reason, so it's not the best. Um, so, today I'm going to be telling you about basic hamster needs, and I'm sitting right in front of my little hammy's tank. Speaking of, she needs food right now. So, I'll pause it. Okay, there is a slight camera shift. You're inside of the food bag right now. But she just did the cutest little hamster sneeze. Um, okay, so let's get right into it. So, first of all, you're going to need a cage, and this needs to be a minimum of 450 square inches. Um, you can also have a um, at least 40 gallon aquarium. There's also a detolf, um, what's it called? <laughs> um, Detolf tank from Ikea. <laughs> a Detolf tank from Ikea. <clears throat> um, and you want to make sure that this hamster cage is out of the way of sun um, because if it's in sunlight, direct sunlight, then it could get heated up really quickly and that could cause a lot of discomfort with the hamster. So, um, I just keep my hamster... Oh, hello! You wanna say hi? Do you wanna say hi, lady? Come here. She's so cute! Oh, are you hungry? No. Just, just running around. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I'm sorry that I woke you up. <gasps> Stretchies! <laughs> Um, and so some basic things you're going to need in your hamster's tank is a wheel for Syrians you, and Chinese hamsters. You need this to be at least 8 inches um, for dwarf hamsters. Sorry, about 6 inches to 8 inches works. Hi, baby. Oh, hello. You're so sweet. You know what? You're my favorite hamster in the whole wide world. Baby. Um, they will also need a water bottle. Now, I have a standing up water bottle. Let me grab this out. Sorry, baby. I just need to show this as an example really quickly. So, I have a tank from, um, for, um, reptiles right now. Um, but I have this little standing water bottle that has a little hideout circle cut out of it. Um, so that the hamster can just go right inside and then... Um, like make a nest inside or something and then the water bottle just comes right out of there and then it stands up. It's a pretty good height for Lady Beignet. Um, she's able to reach it pretty easily. You're also going to need at least one hideout. Now I have a grass hut for Lady Beignet right now. Um, it looks like this. Um, and so you need at least one hideout for your hamster so that they can get away from the light or if you're bothering them, they can just hide away from you. Um, you're also going to need some toys or shoes. So I have some shoes right here. You want to come up? You want to say hi? So I got a set of three carrots. One of them is a wood chew, one of them is a sizzle chew, and one of them is a loofah chew. Um, so she destroyed the sizzle chew almost immediately. Um, and so here's the loofah chew and here's the wood chew. Um, they're pretty cute. She is, has really gotten into the wood chew. The paint's coming off the sides. Um, and then I also have this guinea pig chew, but it works really well for her. It has loofah on it and wood. Um, and she doesn't like to chew on the metal, so that's good. She started chewing on it for the first couple days that she was here, but then she stopped, so um, I didn't have to take it away from her or anything or deconstruct it, so that's good. And then um, you can also make little chews or toys out of paper, towel, or toilet paper rolls. Um, I actually like to go into um, my bathroom, so we keep a bag in the downstairs bathroom of toilet paper rolls, so um, I just go down and collect them, and then you can make toys out of them. 
um, like I will make a separate video on how to make some toys with your toilet paper rolls. So they really come in helpful if you have a hamster. And then you also need some treats for your hamster. Um, my hamster goes crazy over yogurt drops. She, she absolutely loves them. They are, I think, her favorite treat overall. So I really recommend yogurt drops. Here's Lady Beignet. Say hi, baby. Say hi. You want to go back? Finish my hair tie? That works too. She's just sitting in my hand chewing on my hair tie. Um, and then you also need a kind of, um, <gasps> Hi! um, a certain kind of food that has, um, a certain percentage of, um, here, let me look at my paper. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, um, bedding, you need to have um, either aspen or paper-based bedding works, um, and you want to avoid pine shavings, um, cedar shavings, and scented beddings, because those are not good for your hamster to ingest, um, because they put them into their cheek pouches to then make a nest out of, and so, um, if they ingest those on accident, then it's not good for them and their systems. So, yeah. And, um, one of the treats that I like, I was waiting for her to get off of it, and then waiting for her to get off my hands, is this, um, Snack Shack Honey Hut. Um, it's so cute, and it's a two-in-one, it's a treat and a hideout, so she likes to chew on this sometimes, and she can crawl inside and hide in there for a little bit, she can poke her little head out the top, um, but it is honey-based, and so you should not give this to your hamster every day. My fingers taste good because I was just holding her honey shack. Um, so you should not give it to your hamster every day. Um, I recommend every like two to three days if your hamster really likes it. Um, Lady Beignet doesn't chew on it that much. She doesn't, it's not her favorite thing in the world. She really likes the, um, the chews more. And so she doesn't chew on it as much. So I can just keep it in there all the time. But I, if she starts chewing a lot, like if she's, pulling out chunks of it and like she won't get away from it then I'll pull it out of her tank and then set it to the side um, and then she'll find something else to do so that's pretty fun um, your hamster will also need um, a chinchilla sand bath if they start if their fur gets to um, gets to start to be greasy or matted um, you can just pour a chinchilla sand bath into a bowl and then let them roll around in it for a little bit. It's not completely necessary, but I find that most hamsters get greasy easily. So, I like to give it to them. Um, and I just keep hers in her cage because she uses it as a litter box, too. So, that's fine with me. Um, and then... Um, so the food... Oh, so also about the wheels, they need to be, um, I prefer for them to be solid, and they need to be, or I prefer for them to be plastic, and they need to be solid, like no wired things, um, with like the checkered pattern or anything, because their paws can get stuck in the wires, and then they could break something, or sprain it, or injure themselves, so that's not good. Um, so the food needs to, they need to get, um, a seed mix, fruit and veggies, um, I like to give her, um, veggies every other day, um, because when I give her carrots, she just eats them immediately, and so, um, I also give her a lot on the days that I give them to her, um, and so I just give them to her every other day, and that's fine with her, and fine with me too. So, um, their food needs to be 7 to 19% protein, 4 to 9% fat, and 8 to 13% fiber. Um, what I recommend is the, um, Higgins Sunburst Gourmet Blend and, um, the Missouri Rat and Mouse Diet, um, because it's a nice mix of seeds and, um, other foods that they need, 
Um, it has some fruits and veggies in it, so that's good. And now on to cleaning. So you need to clean their cage out every month. Um, you can spot clean every several days. It's like you can take out little pieces of poop or moist beddings. Um, moist bedding. <clears throat> um, and then I like to clean with a vinegar and water mixture. Um, that just kind of gets the job done. And if there's some left over in the tank, it's completely fine for Lady Beignet to digest. Um, so yeah. And then if you're always cleaning, then um, it could cause stress on your hamster, which you definitely do not want. Um, and then now people often make this mistake. They um, want two hamsters to live together. And this is definitely a bigger mistake if you put two different kinds of hamsters together, like say a dwarf and a Chinese hamster. Those will not work well together. Or a robo and a Syrian. Um, so you should always... If you are going to pair up your hamsters, then you need to have, um, you need to be able to bond with both of them in a safe environment, and if they get into any scuffs or fights, then you need to take a dustpan and scoot them away from each other, um, if you are going to bond them. But it is highly recommended that you do not put two hamsters together, even if they are, like, both Syrians or both Robos, um, it is still not very good to keep two hamsters together, um, or more together. It's definitely not recommended that you put three or four or five together. Um, so, you also need to have a vet fund for your hamster whenever there's an emergency, like you feed it food that it's not supposed to eat, or if it breaks or sprains something, you need to be able to take it to the vet, and you need to be, be prepared to pay that fee. Um, and so, you need to um, have a certain amount of money set out. Um, I like to keep a couple hundred dollars set aside um, so that if I do need to take my hamster to the vet, then she I have the amount of money that she needs. Um, so now I'm going to get on to some safe and unsafe foods for hamsters. So some safe foods are bok choy, broccoli, carrots, Brussels sprouts, bell peppers, cauliflowers, celery, cucumber, green beans, endives, parsnips, peas, cooked potatoes, sweet corn, tomato, turnip, zucchini, spinach, cabbage, kale, Roman, romaine lettuce, parsley, cilantro, basil, um, apple without the seeds, bananas, um, blackberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, cherries without the pits, grapes without the seeds, kiwi, mango, peaches without the pits, pears without the pits, raspberries, strawberries, watermelons, beef that's cooked, chicken that's cooked, um, eggs scrambled or boiled is fine, cooked turkey, pasta, mild cheese, peanut butter, plain tofu, and plain yogurt. Now some unsafe foods for your hamsters are avocado, bacon or ham, chili peppers, chives, onions, garlic, candy of course, citrus fruits, iceberg lettuce, pickles, raw potatoes, or and spices or seasonings. So that's just a list of recommendations to feed your hamster if you are going to feed them some treats and what to stay away from when feeding your hamster food. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're able to learn something from it. Um, and I hope that you were able to treat your hamster better if you weren't treating them good enough before. I hope that you learned a couple things that you're, you can better the health of your hamster. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!